Uh, actually, the basic idea is about uh, <coughs> making solar power plant, uh, solar power very economical as well as very popular. Based uh, basically, uh, the solar power plant stations of today are really high initial cost based systems, and uh, nobody is willing to buy in high initial costs. Even though the recurring costs are low, nobody wants to buy uh, a, a so solar po solar cell in their homes and. Uh, Try to use solar power only. They're more, uh, they're more prudent to buy. They feel that it's more prudent to buy or take yeah, power. Cheap, yeah, cheaper, yeah, cheaper source. source. And uh, even though they are recurring, costs, I mean, we pay monthly uh, electricity bills every month. So, but even though it's like that, uh, everyone prefer to be, uh, take it in installments. So my idea is uh, about uh, making the overall cost of the power plant. Yeah, thank you. And making uh, the solar power make the economy very flexible, and uh, we can actually adjust the initial cost versus the recurring cost trade off. So that's basically the idea. And uh, one uh, an additional thing is that in most solar thermals, solar, solar thermal power, power plants, we actually use uh, tra heat transfer fluids that is from the concentrator. We actually concentrate uh, the sun to a concentrating point and uh, from there to the engine we use a fluid and that not only decreases the efficiency because heat fluids radiate on the energy and decrease the efficiency not only just that it also uh, increases the cost of the fuel system not only that uh, generally all the solar thermal power plants use uh, the steam turbine steam engines but uh, i have actually uh, uh, removed the the heat flu heat fluid uh, transfer part uh, I have removed the heat transfer fluid as well as the steam turbine system and I have decided to use an incorporated uh, steering engine uh, within the reflector system. So it's it's one unit, it's just one unit of reflectors as well as the engine incorporated. So we are actually increasing the efficiency as well as decreasing the cost of the system overall. So how did you bump on this idea Jay? So actually uh, uh, somewhere around seven or eight months ago, I watched uh, a National Geographic cha uh, program about solar power, and they showed uh, the Nevada Solar One power plant in uh, Las Vegas, I think. So there they used parabolic trough system. So I was really uh, then interested in solar thermals as a subject, and I researched more into it and uh, tried to decrease the cost and. It, basically try to decrease the initial cost so so I uh, had a lot of research on it uh, for the past six months and uh, I really so have you already come out with any prototype uh, uh, I have not really uh, got the prototype because uh, it's very flexible idea the idea is very flexible and uh, we can actually extend the whole system into a large area of uh, covering I mean tapping or it might be just a small uh, rooftop system so it can be extended to any extent so if you create a prototype and uh, uh, it also needs the the funding to actually uh, create a, a solar power system but uh, if we actually uh, if actually it's uh, if we actually create a prototype uh, it's being going to be a little bit, a little bit costlier but uh, if we actually put it into large scale production Obviously, the cost is going to reduce. So that's the basic idea. So uh, we are actually we are actually making solar power plant uh, economy uh, a little more flexible and a uh, little more uh, choice. A lot more choices are there to the to users. And uh, not only that. Uh, so how do you want to take this forward? Yeah, we are actually. Uh, I'm actually trying to uh, uh, get some funding and uh, okay. create a prototype in the first location and. Uh, so See, what kind of funding are you looking at? Uh, it's all uh, research, so uh, we have to create a prototype. prototype. The but reflector. without doing a little bit of commercial uh, testing or any prototype, do you think people will come forward to fund you? Actually, the idea is very simple and the technology is very simple. Okay, And the whole system itself is very simple. There's no complications such as uh, uh, PV, PV cells. I mean, photovoltaic cells have uh, really, should have really a highly pure silicon uh, crystals and PN junctions in order to tap the solar. 
for the idea of uh, a linear uh, reflector system that too is a really uh, catching one because most of the power plants use curved mirrors but I here I am I'm using linear mirrors that is absolutely planar mirrors small planar mirrors and it can be adjusted to any tapping length I mean like uh, area if you want you can have a 1 meter square of space or we can have somewhere around 50 meter square of space as well so you just have to attach more mirrors to it so that's the way good uh, jar it's good to see young kids like you are coming with so innovative ideas and uh, we wish you all the best from our Ilagan team thank you thank you thank you